Today we're going to investigate how numbers are made up of parts. Smaller numbers nestle inside of a bigger number. So let's begin by using our superpowers of observation. I'm going to show you some dots on three dominoes. What do you notice? When you have an idea in your head, raise your thumb. So at this point in the lesson, I scan the room and wait until all students have raised thumbs. That way I know they have ideas in their heads. Everyone has to participate. Who would like to share what they notice? So some students' responses might include, I see one. I see a four and a two. I see a three. I see a four that looks kind of like a square. Or some student might just say, I see a bunch of black dots on white. I see a green screen, blue, all of it is great. You want to get as many different perspectives as possible. And then once they come to some kind of consensus that we need to find three, go ahead and play two or three um, puzzles. Find two. And this one would be find four. Here, you see the different parts together. So that might be one thing you'd ask students to notice. I'm gonna move up to a new level. Now, some students uh, would be able to make five by combining three and two. But you could ask some students, well, why wouldn't six be the answer? Why wouldn't we use that? And this is a great way to have a conversation about how six is bigger than five, and that five kind of lives within six. So once you've had that discussion, you can go ahead and play on. <clears throat> one and one is two. I'm trying to find a combination where it would make sense. Uh, oh. We could make four two different ways. On this screen, the only option would be three and one. But I would ask students, if we were to select two, how many more would we need to make in order to make four? So if students saw two, they could count up using their fingers, two, three, four, or they could say, hey, there's two, and I know there's two over here. They make four. Um, but knowing that there's different combinations that can make a whole number is part of developing part-part-whole thinking. This concludes our sample whole group lesson, and you could ask students to create their own domino math questions in their math journals, share their thinking with a partner as a follow-up activity, or you can visit our Pinterest page and search for more ideas to help cultivate part-part-whole thinking. Thank you for watching!